It's unique, it's unusual, it's expensive. It is the newest, hottest hobby of the super rich and very famous. The hottest new craze, television memorabilia. The boy wonder of collecting is a former couch potato who spun a hobby into a fortune. James Commissar owns enough showbiz treasures to sell up and retire. Only catch, he can't bear to part with a single thing. Instead, he plans to open a one-of-a-kind museum. Robin, cheers. Cheers! Sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name And they're always glad you came You wanna be where you can see Our troubles are all the same You wanna be where everybody knows your name this is the original bottle from the first season of the I Dream of Jeannie show. We're talking about the country's fascination with Hollywood memorabilia and the big money that a lot of people are willing to pay for items like this. Now, James Commissar owns over 6,000 pieces of celebrity memorabilia, including this I Dream of Jeannie bottle. It is not up for auction, but James can tell us what it would go for. What? Jeannie bottles historically auction off between eight and $12,000. But I must tell you a little secret about that bottle. Underneath the paint is a 1964 Jim Beam Christmas decanter. It's a booze bottle. <laughs> the show was taped very late in the year, and when they were doing the pilot, the producer got a great bottle of booze as a gift. He said, hell, paint it. That's the bottle, and the rest is history. But the fact that it was used on the show and that it survived 30 years since the show makes it a very important piece of television history. Now, where do you keep yours? Uh, that stays with me in my home, but I also have full warehouses filled. Two warehouses? Yes, I do. Full of TV and film memorabilia, and he gave us a tour of it. My passenger set sail that day for a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. The weather started getting rough, the tiny ship was tossed. If not for the courage of the fearless crew, the middle would be lost. The middle would be lost. I'm standing here next to a piece of jewelry from the Mr. T collection. No, no, I'm on the red carpet at the 55th Annual Emmy Awards. Ed Simon, what was your favorite TV show growing up? Uh, Batman. Batman, if you could spend the day hanging out with Batman, what kind of trouble would you get into with him? Well, we wouldn't because we'd rescue people. You'd be out rescuing people? Absolutely. Growing up, what TV family did you wish was your family? Uh, any of them but mine. <laughs> what TV family did I wow. wish was my family? You know, the Brady Bunch, you know, I used to watch the Brady Bunch and think like, wow, their parents are so nice. If you could spend the day hanging out with Jackie Gleason, what kind of trouble would you get into? I'd like to be on like a railroad train going to Miami in, in like the smoking cars, pounding down scotches and playing poker with them. One minute before the Emmys and everybody's scrambling to get an interview with a star. Let's see what we come up with. So if you could spend the day with Joe Friday, what would you do to loosen him up? Um... I don't know, take him to a bar, maybe a strip club, I don't know. <laughs> now the world don't move to the beat of just one drum. What might be right for you may not be right for some. Everybody's got a special kind of story. Everybody finds a way to shine. It don't matter that you got not a lot. So what? They'll have theirs and you'll have yours and I'll have mine. And together we'll be fine. Walking through James Commissar's two-bedroom apartment is like taking a tour through television's 60-year history. His home-turned-museum is the largest privately held collection of television artifacts in the world. Let me show you around. This was worn by the biggest witch uh, on all television, uh, not Roseanne Barr, but rather Endora from Bewitched. This floral <laughs> blouse was worn from... I kid because I love. You know that about me. Now, did you watch the Star Trek program I growing did, up at all? I did, there a lot. I think I've seen every single episode, I'm embarrassed to say. Well, let's set phasers to stun. This is Captain Kirk's original pistol phaser from the first season of Star Trek. And what's so amazing is a lot of these treasures actually come out of the trash. Star Trek was a loser in the ratings the first time it was on the air. And when it went off the air, Paramount couldn't wait to just throw all this stuff in the garbage can. And that's where this pistol phaser went as soon as the show wrapped in the garbage can. What is the one piece, if you could choose now, or a couple of pieces that you're hoping to still acquire for your collection 
I want that couch from the Today Show. Can I get that? Um, well, I can talk to my bosses about it, um, but I'm not absolutely sure. Uh, that we... I'd also like uh, Al Roker's gold watch. If you can get that out of his dressing room, I'd appreciate that as well. <laughs> Gosh, anything else? Anything from Katie you want? How about that floor safe that she keeps her walking around money in? Is okay, that available? All right, all right. This it. was worn by the most beautiful woman yeah. of all 70s television, you. This is a Marie Anderson. Look at that. Now, Still fit, baby. Still yeah. fit. Now, as, as I recall, you were a little country and you were a little rock and roll, right? Yes, I've heard that somewhere before. Now, you seemed well. that you took a little detour in 1976 on the disco train, hey, didn't this, you? This album keeps coming up, man. It's like a bad dream. You recognize this outfit, Donnie. <laughs> Uh, John and James, I'd be happy yeah, yeah. to model that one. Claire, let me tell you, my little heart is beating. Just you joking about that makes me <laughs> a little sweaty, quite frankly. Claire, and if you want to send any of that lingerie over to the collection, I want it. <laughs> now this, just go ahead and put some of this on your hands. It's very rare. Enjoy it. No, it's very nice. Just put it here. Let me help you with this. Just put a little bit, rub it in your hands. That feels, just rub it around. That feels very good, doesn't it? I don't trust from you. From Beverly Hills, California. Is what you're rubbing in your hand is original slime from Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> <laughs> don't get that on me. Where is the M that was on Mary's wall? Please tell me you have it and you want to give it to us. I have it on I my wall and it's going to stay. <laughs> you may have it eventually. I'll will it to you. Has that. Are you uncomfortable with the word icon or legend to describe your TV accomplishments? Oh, oh I've worked my ass off over the years. I like that. <laughs> you heard it first. He's comfortable with the word icon. Comfortable with icon. Comfortable with ass. Is this crazy to you that all these years later we are still, we see Shirley Jones and we melt? Oh, it's nice. What a nice thing to say. Thank you. And your husband is coming on to me. Is that a problem for you at all? I was not coming on. I just, I was putting my finger in your ear. Marty, we're very much in love and I think Shirley should know. Okay? It's not a good time to tell her. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. James, you did good, kid, and I'm proud of you. But if I ever find the suspenders I gave you for sale on eBay, I'll hunt you down. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't.